was well said by these guys in this article because at the time of the Biden COVID vaccine mandate, Omicron didn't exist. And so they need to reconsider the science behind their argument. And so the Supreme Court could just send this back to HHS and say, uh, to HHS and OSHA, OSHA, and say, you have to redo this entire vaccine mandate because the science upon which you relied has changed. It's a little bit of a way to dodge having to make a big decision about executive authority. Right. This this is a moment in time where any reasonable, rational decision-making body, the Supreme Court, OSHA itself, oh, I don't know, the Biden regime, the mouthpieces at the CDC, you know, where's little Fauci? I haven't seen him in five minutes. You know, I don't know what's going on. It's been five minutes without him on my it TV screen. And you say, hold hold on a second. Someone explain to me how this makes any sense, in given the reality that the underlying justification for this, they, they took it out of individual hands. Your rights, your freedom as a person to not have something injected into you or else you would face Serious consequences. I mean, in New York City, you're effectively locked in your home unless you get the shot. It's horrible what they've done to people here, okay? That was all based on the, oh, I can't be near you because you're going to get me sick. Well, now we know, unless you're going to avoid all human contact, you might actually get exposed to COVID, vaccinated or unvaccinated. And they can't even distinguish between the two in terms of infection likelihood anymore or viral spread, unless I'm missing something, unless there's some data I don't know about. They did do recent uh, studies to show that those who are vaccinated versus unvaccinated who do get infected have about the same level of virus in their nasopharynx, right? So in terms of initial infection, maybe for the first 60 days, Clay, you're more protected. The first 90 days, you're more protected. But after that, you're not. So what's really the justification here for making people not get or making people get the shot they don't they don't have they're just coming up with it on the fly. This is maybe the most blockbuster part of the entire article here that I'm reading from the Wall Street Journal. For those of you out there, I shared this on Twitter. Encourage you to go read the article for yourself. Uh, again, one of the writers here, Dr. Montagnier, uh what I'm gonna pronounce his name like Mont- eight Montagnier? Different ways now. Go <laughs> just, just, just lean into the French. Montagnier. Uh, Uh, He was a winner of the 2008 Nobel Prize in physiology or medicine for discovering HIV. So this guy's kind of a big deal. Uh, Nobel Prize winner. All right, listen to this paragraph, Buck, because this is a jaw-dropping paragraph. And I think we're going to talk some with Alex Berenson about this tomorrow in the third hour of the program for those of you out there uh, who want to hear this discussion. But here's what they say. The little data we have suggests uh, the opposite in terms of Omicron protecting vaccinated people. One preprint study found that after 30 days, the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines no longer had any statistically significant positive effect against Omicron infection. Just 30 days, but listen to this. And after 90 days, their effect went negative. That is, vaccinated people were more susceptible to Omicron infection. Confirming this negative efficacy finding, data from Denmark and the Canadian province of Ontario indicate vaccinated people have higher rates of Omicron infection than unvaccinated people. But if this paragraph that I'm reading from in the Wall Street Journal is correct... Not only is there not now, as Joe Biden has been saying for months, a pandemic of the unvaccinated, what we actually have in this country, Buck, based on this paragraph and these studies, would be a pandemic of the vaccinated. I, I can. It's, it's earth shattering. I guarantee that if Clay or I or any of our brothers and sisters in the conservative movement took those exact words, and forget about attribution and plagiarism for a second, okay, just for the purpose of the uh, analogy or for the story here, took those exact words, put them onto our Facebook page or put them onto Twitter, a very high likelihood that you would be uh, get a strike, you'd be suspended, and maybe permanently suspended for taking the words of a Nobel Prize winner in science on what's happening right now based on the data. So can we all understand the people that are telling you it's the science are cowards, they're liars, and they don't know what the heck they're talking about. That corporate media in general aligned with the Democrats has failed 
to even do the most basic due diligence on Fauciism.